Hey everybody, welcome to some CP Steel. Today I'm playing for you the uh, engineer class. It's my favorite class, not really, but uh, it's a class, nonetheless. Um, so this class is uh, very much a defensive class. It's just, uh, you kind of make your sentry. It has like a little bit of an RPG component to it, essentially. On this map in particular, I will not feel very compelled to uh, try to, uh, what's gonna call it, uh, make teleporters. And he almost got me there. He might dispense by accident. I was hoping my, my sentry would help me out, which it did. Okay, just finished leveling this guy up. So what I like to do is while I'm upgrading a sentry, I don't hit it necessarily with all my metal. I keep a bit of the uh, the metal around just in case I need uh, uh, some some repair metal. So right now I can't upgrade this all the way. Oh, well now I can because I have that, that ammo right there. So I might as well go upgrade this. I'm really not going to be playing this class in particular that long, like uh, playing s standing on sentries basically, because I'm just going to talk about it briefly. If you want to know the best uh, places for a sentry, you basically just watch what other better players do who play a lot of engineer. Usually if an engineer puts it in, in, a, in a specific spot, there's a reason for it. I'm killing a lot of people. Wow. But anyways, I have this shotgun mostly because I have an abundance of metal usually when I get my things up. So having lots and lots of shots basically to, to throw around is actually probably worthwhile, at least in my opinion. Uh, that's kind of how I go around it, and I, I consider this class to be a necessary evil, as it's area denial. I'm essentially right now denying the other team, um... I'm denying the other team the control point right now. So they keep running into my sentry by accident, uh, they're not really learning from their mistakes. Eventually they'll take me down with, with whatever, a demo or a mover or whatever else. Uh, but the tools I have specifically are, like, uh, the wrench here I have will do give me a bit of fire vulnerability. Uh, which, who gives a shit? Uh, does it look like Pyos are really gonna get close to me? No, not unless they're Ubered or some shit, which, at that point, who really cares? Um, but on the, on the flip side, uh, I get to cause bleeding damage like that. I was just showing that off! <laughs> that was purely by accident. Alright, that's awesome. Um, there's that, and, uh, <laughs> you can find spies really easily. Oh, hey. Uh, so you can find spies with that, and the second thing is, uh, that's a, oh, uh, there's some guy shooting at me. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. I find spies really easy. Might as well take it. Uh, every wrench uh, melee is basically an upgrade in some way, so, you know, almost all of them anyways. But anyways, um, there's, there's a whole lot of options you have. Uh, the Widowmaker, yeah, I run around with it mostly because you have so much ammunition, like you have so much metal. It's basically like free, no reload shotgun, that's how I consider it to be. Uh, so that's why I carry that around. But I have this thing, and I use this thing just to like... I, I, I can basically spam projectiles away. Like, I can, I can help defend this guy, if I really want to. And that's pretty much it, that's, that's all I do pretty much for defensive, uh, engineer. Uh, which is not something I really like to go very often. Actually, I, I, this is like my third most played class, and I, I, I absolutely do not know why. Um, to me, it seems absolutely retarded, because it's just like, well, why? Why? I don't know. It's it's not my thing. I'd rather be playing heavy, soldier, anything. Sniper, scout. It's fun shit, but... Um, we're going to just run around. My sentry, unfortunately, cannot actually guard that position. Damn it. Fuck me. Probably should have just gotten him. I, I repositioned it and that was my bad. Well, we could just bring it up really instantly because it's just like, well, there's a... There's metal right here. This is probably actually not the best place either. Probably this place would be best. There you go. I don't know. I, I positioned it incorrectly. The soldier freaked me out because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to handle that. Remember, that spy kind of wasted his life because it's just like, well, I, I kind of have this all, all the way back up now. 
and now now I'm being hit by other things. So I'm gonna just let my let my hitbox of the uh, the dispenser basically save me, and that's pretty much it. Later. And you basically do this, and if you hit spies by accident, well, good, kudos to you. You basically get free spy kills. That's all this class is all about. Uh, I don't know what, what else there, there is to say about Defensive Envy. It's not something I play particularly for fairly often. I think it is a great class, though, because you get a lot of great options. Um, and there's also, it's one of the only, few, it's one of the few classes where you actually get two uh, playstyles to, to go with it. Um, Damn it to hell. Yeah, I'll just go right here. So I'll just build right here. Oh god. Everyone's coming after me. I thought I was offline. Apparently not. Alright, well, I can't do much about this, so I'm just gonna run around. And maybe, maybe 1v1 this kid. Well, there's not much I can do about that, so, uh, you know, let's go swap it out to maybe something else. Who knows? Let's go kill some of these guys. And they apparently, apparently am not worth their time. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'm, I'm shooting at my ammunition away, so, uh, you know, all my metal. So I guess I got really nothing else to do except for to go around back to base. Ah, oh, whatever, I'm out of here. Enjoy the sentry. And unfortunately, now that I've actually used my ammo like that, uh, I can't, I can't actually do much. <laughs> and I'm, I'm constantly getting hit by stuff. So, uh, I guess I'll just show you another one of my loadouts, uh, which I consider to be pretty fun. Uh, I have, a. Uh, Basically, Rescue Ranger, Wrangler, and the Jag. The Jag will help me build a bit faster, which is kind of nice. Uh, there's that. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and help with this thing. And the Rescue Ranger, basically, I can go and k get my sentry from really far away. That's kind of the nice part about it. Um... It, it does fire a little bit of projectile weapon, that's kind of bad. There's also the Wrangler, which is great for level 3s kind of thing, so you can kind of snipe people away. So I think I'm going to keep it like this, because um, I kind of like this this idea that I have here, because it's basically, we basically have our back kind of covered. I, li I like that. Um, and I can help build this little factory with a jag. And so this means they'll be unable to get D and D on this map in particular. Just means, uh, and I can make it go fast. And that's it. Uh, I can't do any more sentries. All I can do is get critted by him. So that's pretty much uh, the gist of uh, defensive engine for you. You build sentries and watch them get destroyed uh, by ubers and pushes and shit like that. So not particularly my thing. Um, I don't really dig it, but you know, I, I see I see the necessity for it. And if you have a good team helping you defend. Uh, it will be a, a, an awesome weapon. Uh, if you don't, well, I guess you're kind of fucked, aren't you? So, I guess, um, some other weapons I could show you, I guess, are like, uh, uh, just the regular shotgun. And, uh, there's things like the Eureka effect where you can teleport back to spawn. Um, if you choose to go that, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I could see the definite value in it on this map in particular. It's really not that valuable. Uh, I'm gonna try and go all the way back here. Okay, unfortunately I missed every shotgun shot, like a boss. And we're kind of getting rolled here, so I don't think I'm going to be able to help much. And that's uh, mini sentries. And now I got critted. Crit servers are entirely balanced. Yeah, I doubt we're going to get that, so that's pretty much the end of the defensive engine for you. I'm not doing that again. Um, yeah, it's it's just pretty much that. It's you let your sentry do the aim because the sentry is basically like a giant aim bot. That's all it is. Uh, so you don't really have to worry too much about uh, that. You just have to camp behind it, and hopefully your team will take to uh, will help defend you and 
you know, help get rid of Ubers or people trying to get it. So let's go to one of my more uh, offensive NG loadouts. This one is actually one of my favorites. This is, whenever I play Engineer, I really like this one. I, I tried it the other day, and it was like, huge amounts of fun. So, I'm just building all my things right here. Now, whenever I play uh, an Engineer with a Teleporter, uh, which I'm doing right now, I never upgrade it past level level 2 unless I am uh, an actual camping NG, defensive NG. Or in the case of, uh, 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 or if like, like there's so much, like I, I respawn and I realize there's so many people there that I upgrade it. I just assume someone else is going to upgrade it for me. Uh, and there's a good reason why I don't waste my time upgrading to level 2. And especially if I'm just spawning, I'm making a new teleport, I don't upgrade it at all. Because I, I consider it a total waste of time. And the reason for this is, um, the difference between a level 1 and level 2 teleporter is level 1 teleporter is a 10 second teleport time. Uh, the level 2 is a 5 second. The level 3... Level 3 is a... is a only, um... Only 3 seconds. Uh-oh, I'm dead. Yep. Grenade spam. 300% aim. Uh... No, I'm just kidding. Um... So that's kinda... That's kinda why I don't bother upgrading past level 2. To me, it's basically like... You minus five seconds and then you minus two. It's not really worthwhile uh, when you think about it. So I don't do it. Um, and I, I honestly, I recommend you don't either because it's not really a useful use of your time. So this build in particular, I run the Pompson, which is uh, basically something spammable. I can I can kind of just spam it and get away with anything. I'm gonna actually move this guy up here. Because people might actually, uh, here, look at it right there. Uh, unfortunately some guy got my sentry and he's a giant jerkwad. My team is not, unfortunately, pushing up that hard. And this, this unfortunately blocks away from me, but I can still get this. So I'm, I'm fucking up that medic super. So I spam basically with one weapon and I still maintain my, my hit scan weapon. And that's why I do things the way I do it. Um, I think it's actually a really good build to actually do this. There wasn't getting any lighter. I'm, I'm not having much luck with these mini centers. So basically the idea is you can kind of like not, I don't really bother with the Wrangler. Uh, not with mini centers anyways. I, I can see the definite benefit if you choose to run that. Um, one sec. Oh no, come on. One HP. Building the sentry. And just kinda let your mini sentry do kind of the work there and piss off everybody. That's kind of the way you're you're intended to play this uh, kind of a class. Uh, the, the I I'm kinda just like this, because you know I can spam this anywhere I want. Sentry going up. So you can kinda just kill people and then you know. And you have you basically have metal for two mini sentries. Building the sentry. And, like annoy people. And I just got two kills with that, and that's it. You just keep at it. And these are two very spammy weapons, and you you kinda like even though this is spammy, it requires no ammo. And uh, you get the mini sentry still if you want some hit if you want some hit scan. So you basically kinda make up for uh, all the problems. And you can kinda let people walk right into that. I almost had him. No, not really, actually. He had more than half his health. Now, the, the one thing that's great about mini centers is they work actually as an absolutely fucking fantastic distraction. Uh, they're way overpowered in that case. Um, because people can so easily kind of just run in there and, uh... And, uh... And, and well, like, like people don't know what to shoot. You are the, the mini sentry because you can just pop down another one. Uh, you know, and, and what's it to you, really? You don't really care. So here's my plan. Right make a teleporter. Okay, he didn't realize I was here, so that's that's good for me. So I have my teleporter going up, and that's basically gonna. Ah, uh, he almost killed me, but he didn't kill me, so that's that's what matters. 
So you just keep the mini sentry here as a minor defense thing and you just kind of harass here. Even though this is not the place we actually want to be, uh, teleporting people in actually works out in my favor. And you know, you can kill people and annoy them. That's basically the, the gist of my class. Just kind of watch people run back to spawn. You know, whatever. I don't have to come over there. It's like fucking charging up his body shot. You know, you don't underestimate the pistol. The pistol is really a quite nice weapon. And so with this, I'm basically just kind of... Uh, Kind of just getting rid of people as they, because they know I'm here, and they see me, uh, and my and my team's right now capping B. Now they could use my teleporter, although they're choosing not to, so I don't really know why that is the case. But I'm distracting enough players on red that it's basically, I, like you know, if one person's over here and I'm killing them, that's pretty much a win for me. Because it's just like they're wasting their time. They're not ca they're not defending their points, and as far as I'm, I'm concerned, like about three players are are coming after me, right now. So. Or have gone after me. Hey, what's up? Oh my god, spy. Didn't get him, unfortunately. That's the problem with the Pompson, is it's very much a spammy weapon. Uh, you want to switch to the pistol if you're trying to hit a specific target. But I, I do like the fact I can just kind of get rid of spies and stuff. And look, we're already pretty much already on D. We already have, like, basically a base here. So I'm going to actually go and I'm going to go make a... Uh, a dispenser right here. I destroyed the one that was by my base. I figured that was a good idea. And I'm pretty much just gonna go here and just kind of let my team in. And I'm gonna actually move this to defend. And we got him before we could kill my stuff. Flanking heavy is best heavy. Okay, so I couldn't, I couldn't quite make it in there, so I'm gonna stay over here. That's fine. I don't really care. Any map. Any map. Any map. Whatever. Oh, that's results. Uh, and so yeah, that's kind of how I play uh, offensive, uh, offensive NG. You know, it really doesn't matter, like, how you want to play it, but it's just like, this is the best way i found to play it. Okay, I want to close these results because it prevents me from switching weapons. I don't even know why anyone uses these source op fucking map searches anymore. So you have a lot of options at your disposal. It's great for supporting. And so every time you can't, can't take too much damage since you can't repair it, you might as well just kind of bring it back, to, nurse it back to full health, just like that. And so I'm just basically preventing my team from, uh, and this is the, the great thing about Engineer, my team does not have to spend any time getting back to here. I'm just kind of roaming around defending. And uh, my team can go cap everything, but I I'm doing my job, you know, my job is speci very specifically just to kind of uh, get behind people. I'm moving this. So with this, I think, I think now's actually a good time to basically just kind of on, annoy the fuck out of people. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna let my mini sentry just shoot them up and it's done. And nobody's here, actually. That's surprising. I thought they would have actually chased me. Apparently that's not going to be the case. So, my job is very much to defend, and this dispenser is in, is in a very strategic place because it's right behind where they can't shoot it, but at the same time, uh, they can. my team can easily go back and, and go heal on it. Except for that guy who died in one hit. So, as I said, I'm roaming right now. I'm, I'm kind of like... Trying to just kill people, and that's it. Uh, critical? Give me, like, honestly, have I not died by anything but criticals this, this fucking game? Unfortunately, I think this is gonna die. Now, three hits with actually the gunslinger is kind of cool, because you can kind of, you can one-shot things. Uh, I think that goes by teleporter, but my teleporter at base is still up. That's unfortunate, though. Now they're, you see, they're focusing right now on my mini sentry, which is like, probably the worst thing for them to actually focus on. Because it's like, it's useless to them. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. So 
So I can kind of start remaking my teleporter right there. Unfortunately, my dispenser went down too. So I can kind of start remaking them both. Unfortunately, now I don't have enough ammo for another uh, mini sentry if mine goes down. Now I do. So I can kind of just now spam people from long range and all that kind of fun jazz. So I can't even hit I can't even hit this guy with my Thompson. So why why bother? Just just shoot him with the, the pistol. That's why I have it, because I, I I realize that's a really bad idea just to have the Thompson. You're all right, Doc. And my teleporter got destroyed because I accidentally pressed four twice. Whoops. Going up. So we'll we'll just let everything come back up. They're right now just spamming that entryway. And don't don't come after this guy. There you go, pistol him to death. And if you really need to spam, you can kind of do this. And you can maybe get somebody. That's kind of how I play with it. If you want, you can you can use those mini sentries to get some guaranteed crits with it. I mean, it more more or less works. That that fucking pistol, man. I love that shit. 